so welcome to the card based CPI video uh, we are going to work uh, over industry based Salesforce API and the method or the API name will be checkout API the main uh, objective of this API to submit any order or an opportunity or the code so uh, let's say you have one order you wanted to proceed ahead with that order then the order will go to the next process of its kind of submission of order if you are in the context of the opportunity if your object is opportunity then if you submit that opportunity it will move to create a code if it is code then it will move to create an order the main parameter for this api will be cart id cart id means your order id or opportunity id or quote id which you might have uh, created using the cart api or uh, you just wanted to uh, use some omni script as a parameter Om in omni script you wanted to uh, give that parameter so th at the time context id will be required context id will be uh, same as a card api that will define uh, in which context you are placing that order so let's move to our integration procedure now I'll be using the same integration procedure which we have used in previous videos uh, up to previously we have created uh, we have added one product in our bundle we have created card we have added normal product in our card or also we have removed item from our card so these are the th three to four things which we have done using the CPQ card API today we are going to work on uh, checkout method or submit order so what do I'm going to do I'm create I will create one order right now so let's go and just run this integration procedure to create one order I have executed it it will create one order it is done we will go here order number 162 so this order has been created status is in draft or activated so what we will do we will go to our integration procedure we will go to properties we will take one of remote action remote action remote class name will be cpq app handler method name will check out it will be submit order all right now what i'm going to do um additional parameter will be card id so right now what you can do you can give cart id as an input parameter from your previous steps or context id will be your normally it's a cart id so i'm going to what i'm going to do i'm just giving cart id as a parameter from my um, integration procedure and i'm going to submit my previous order using this api so so what i have done i have inactivated other step just placing this step and with the input parameter of the cart id and the context id let me run this integration procedure and we will check uh, what will happen in our order as per previously we know that if it is order then it will create an asset uh, for that customer so again we will go to our integration procedure we have executed our integration procedure we'll go to our order we see that order number 163 has been activated and order has been changed status from draft to activated we'll go to account so if you see right now we have created as a billing asset for that particular account these are the older one older one but a couple of them are the new one so we have created those assets billing assets for that particular account 
so the main objective of our uh, submit order functionality has been completed using the checkout method or using the checkout uh, cardbase api method 